So maybe you're thinking about removing a wall in your house to open up the floor. The first step is to identify if it's potentially a load-bearing wall. The problem is, maybe you're not a structural engineer. Today, I'm going to show you how to identify potential load-bearing walls and then how to safely remove them from your house. A 25-year-old daughter purchased a 1950s home. First-time home buyer. Okay. Very limited budget. But we are going to be doing and have been doing some massive repair work. So we're going to put an upright there, eight by eight post across the top, and upright straight down on that wall. And then that's going to connect one room to the next. Now when you're trying to identify if a wall is potentially load bearing, two things to do. Look up, look down. Look beneath the wall that you want to remove. Is there any support structures? Is there another wall beneath the wall that you want to take out? If there is, that means that whoever originally built the house may have intended the wall above, the one you want to take out, to be a load-bearing wall because they're transferring the load all the way through that wall down into the basement. Look above the wall you want to remove. Does the roof come to a point on top of the wall you want to take out. If it does, that also is an indicator that that roof load is supported by the wall beneath it. So be careful before you just randomly remove that wall. We tore out the existing wall, but what you see behind the ladder is what we call the temporary wall. So you've identified the wall as a potential load-bearing wall. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to build another wall next to it. Yes, you have to build one before you can remove one. So you're gonna build a temporary support wall next to the wall you wanna take out. Because that's a support beam, what we're gonna be using is some eight by eight posts that we salvaged from a barn. So far it's been great. We've um, taken out a room, put an awesome pillar uh, from an old barn. Very much so opened up the living room so it's not so boxy. We were actually too scared to even try and get our dresser through the hallway without scratching up the walls. When we come into a house like this, it's not just about opening up the floor plan, but it's also about creating a circular pattern. The ability to have flow within the house. You don't just come in and start randomly knocking down walls knowing that that's going to create an open floor plan. You've got to do it strategically. So let's take a look at what we did in this case. Now this home had three small bedrooms. In fact, I'm literally standing where the wall used to be. If I take one step over from this point to where my hand is here was the opening to gain access to the bathroom two of the bedrooms, and this third bedroom. We've sacrificed this third bedroom to create an open floor plan with flow. We've removed the wall, put in a header beam to support the roof load, and given them the ability to incorporate a dining room right off from the living room and right off from the kitchen. The, the timbers that you're gonna see in the video, they came from a barn we salvaged. Mm -hmm. uh, other than the labor of setting them aside, there was no expense to those timbers. Some of you may be looking at it going, oh, I wouldn't want that in my home. But remember, what you're going to see right now is in process, and she's a Pinterest fan. Which means this has got a lot more arts and crafts. Not yet, but it's gonna be a Pinterest I wanna encourage you to have a little bit of fun with that support beam. Whatever material you choose, the most important thing is to make sure that it can span the opening that you're attempting to create. You can choose to hide that support beam within the ceiling structure or you can leave it exposed and use it as a focal point for the decor of your home. Hunter used to run around, I have a two and a half year old, run around slamming each door so that he could run around in a circle. Does now he... he still runs around in a circle but less doors to slam. Well, I can see him at all angles and it's awesome. Yes, you can, you can sit down and relax while <laughs> He does this thing. <laughs> get a puppy with it and it really goes. <laughs> and you get one tired kid at the end of the day. <laughs> Dude, that is why we have a circular pattern in a house. <laughs> is we're going to identify what a load... The, to identify if a house... To identify if a... To identify if a wall has... Why am I having so much difficulty talking today? 
Now when you're trying to identify if a wall has is when you're trying to now when you're trying to identify if a wall is potentially load bearing problems of things, it's just crazy what you can do with support bands. You can support stuff. Golly, I said it much better the time before. It doesn't make a difference what you do, as long as you like it. Who cares what the neighbors think? The neighbors don't live in your house, Jack. Alright. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out. Did I just say that? Holy crap. I got through one whole sentence. Yeah. Yay. Stanley do good. Stanley do good. I'm out. <laughs>